Bang! Neves Knives, I'm Jared, and today we're checking out about, I don't know, five or six items here, including this one that I just purchased. I didn't even have this on my radar whatsoever, didn't even know about it. I seen it drop on Blade HQ and said, man, that looks actually pretty cool. I'm going to give them a try. First time I'm trying this company out, Matsy. Um, it looks like a Ferrum Forge logo, but but it's uh, Matsy. Anyways, I believe it's M390 Steel. I'm going to have everything linked down in the description for you guys. And then we have a bunch of other stuff we're going to check out too, not just this. But anyways, Titanium Bolster Lock. Good quality micarta. I'm not 100% who the OEM is, but it, seems, it feels like best tech. Um, I like this pattern that they have on the tie clip and pivot. It has a very small flipper tab, but flips great. Great action, great detent. And because of the way the flipper tab is shaped on this on the handle or you know on the knife, you have a ton of leverage on that. Then you have the thumb studs, which equally work just as good. Detent is very well tuned for both deployments, and it's because of the position of the flipper. Beautiful sharpening tool and plunge grind. Awesome uh, drop point blade. Love that swedge. Nice satin. Titanium milled pocket clip and a backspacer. As you can see, there's their logo. Like I said, the micarta seems like it's really good quality. This is a little bit of a funky shape. When I hold it in my hand back here, it's okay. It's not like horrible, but I do feel the back of the clip right here. Not that big of a deal. I could totally use it, but where I really like to hold it is like this, where I put my middle finger in that hole and like this, it's nice and comfortable. You can flip it around and do really comfortable cuts going backwards, great utility cuts. Um, it just seems like my middle finger finger wants to be in that that deployment or in that hole now unlocking it and disengaging it it's easy um i will say you know i usually prefer this side to be up higher than it is but as you can see it actually is up a little bit higher so it's easy it's easy to get on um, past the detent and it's very very smooth on the drop so yeah, this is a pretty cool one, and there's a bunch of different options, you know, colors and stuff. So I thought it was cool to check out something, you know, to put on the channel and test out. Um, my one complaint is, and it's not even that big of a deal, but you can kind of touch the edge right here in this cutout, but I don't think it'll ever be an issue. I think you'd have to intentionally push your finger in there for, for it to ever really affect you. And then the other thing, like I said, you know, when you're back here, you do feel the clip quite a bit, but you know, that's okay. You know, it has a clip and I'd prefer it to have a clip either way. Um, next is just really quick, some new scales I got on my Manix. Um, Kara got me these, some titanium scales. I thought they, uh, it was really nice of her. So shout out to my lovely wife, Kara. Um, they look pretty cool. They are titanium, and I'm guessing this is laser done. But anyways, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that really quick. And then also with that, she gave me a titanium beard comb. I'm not sure if I can link these down in the description, but hey, it's made in the USA. And uh, yeah, I never really had a beard comb. You know, it's kind of a fidgety one too. <laughs> anyways, I thought that was pretty cool. Next, she got herself... A mini sheepdog as if we don't have enough sheepdogs already she but she's always wanted the titanium frame lock mini sheepdog so this is really cool so yeah very very cool s35 vn titanium and i'll tell you what this has a stout detent you do not want to put your fingers on that lock bar this thing there's no, it's impossible to fail. There's no possible way you could ever fail this because as soon as you break that detent, the detent, listen to it. So yeah, nice and strong detent. Now next, um, and I'm only going through this one quick because this has had a lot of, you know, a lot of videos are on the mini sheepdog titanium and we have a lot of videos on sheepdogs already too. So, uh, just a quick look next, this one. I know I've recently shown it on the channel, but I got to say, I like this thing a lot. Like a lot, like a lot. I've been carrying the heck out of it. It's a button lock. The action is amazing. The quality of the micarta is really good. You can tell I've been carrying it. Look at how much that micarta has really changed. Um, but yeah, 
Nice and comfortable in the hand. Beautiful choke-up spot. Exactly the way you want to see a char sharpening tool and plunge grind done. I'm sorry I got schmuck all over. I literally just pulled it off of my hip. Um, I've been breaking down cardboard. But one thing I really appreciate about it is, one, the, the tip drops down so it's easy to open things up and then use the secondary tip. But even more, when you're slicing, the material tends to get trapped because this part is a little thicker because it's a dual grind. So when you're passing it through materials, it kind of gets caught in there and it helps you know with extended cuts so yeah very very cool i do i have recently shown this on the channel so i'm not going to talk about it too much but then last is a couple flashlights i recently got some ace beams the first time i'm checking out this company i have had them for a couple months and i like them quite a bit this one's 650 lumens it does have a rechargeable battery and you can take this whole flashlight out of the the titanium sleeve because this is titanium so you take the clip off and this will slide out and you can put the clip back if you want and then it's just a, a thin aluminum flashlight so you can kind of thicken it up with this titanium case and it has detents right here as you can see you can see the detents how pops in pops out pops down and you can uh like i said take that out and also you can unscrew the cap right here and take out the battery and it is a rechargeable one so that's cool now like i said 650 lumens this one is 1500 lumens for this titanium one but they have a 2000 lumen one that's aluminum but i wanted the titanium one it is super bright um this one does not come out of a sleeve though but yeah really really cool i've been enjoying this quite a bit it's got some ridges on the front end you know maybe for some self-defense or you you know break glass or something i don't know whatever you want to do with it but i like how the titanium kind of coils around or how you can see the aluminum inside the titanium it looks pretty good the tail switch is you know really good you can tell you're clicking it which i like this one has the kind of the spring one but anyways i figured i would show them to you guys like i said uh you know, I've had them for a couple months. The company sent them to me. I've been testing them out. But before that, I seen in my comments, a bunch of people told me, hey, you should try Ace Beam. You should try Ace Beam. So when they contacted me, I said, all right, yeah, I'll check it out. Uh, maybe I'll put some tritium inside these little slots right there. That'd be kind of cool. Uh, I've never done that with a flashlight. So that actually sounds like a pretty cool idea. I know this stuff can get expensive. <laughs> but... Uh, Anyways, I figured I would show them to you guys. I think they're pretty cool. I'll have it all linked down in the description for you guys. Like I said, these are titanium, but they have different ones from aluminum to really budget friendly. But these for titanium, they're not expensive. These were not expensive at all. And that's kind of why I picked them because, you know, this one's a little bit more budget. This one's a little bit more expensive, but still, though, they, they seem like they were very reasonable considering the lumens and the materials. So there you guys go. I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.